Hey, Gemini, happy spring. How are you? I hope that you are doing well. We're about to get into these spring equinox readings for you. Um, so we will be focusing on the first and the second half of spring here. So before we get started, I first want to welcome you to the channel. If this is your first time and if this is not, thank you for returning, okay? Make sure that you um, share this video if it supports you or if you know someone that this will support. Like it if it resonates for you and feel free to subscribe so that you can receive all the videos coming up here in the future. So if you are also looking for any other services that Liz Charm provides between tarot, hypnotherapy, or any conjure work, you can sign up at the link below in the description box, okay? And we have a spring Equinox virtual retreat coming up where we'll be um, doing a rebirth hypnosis, having some astro Reiki going on. We will also be receiving intuitive and guided movement guidance. And on the last day, psychic and medium readings, okay? So it's going to be a good time. Make sure that you sign up. It's on the website underneath Gather. I will share that. That will be also in the description box below. So yes, now that that's out the way, let's go ahead and get started to, with this reading, Gemini, for your spring energy. Here in fact, guys of... Oh, Gemini, dominant energy, sun, moon, and rising. This is just you have to make what you like for them to know at this time. Yeah. All right, Gemini. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So very similar to Taurus energy, your energy. They got the Taurus energy. You get the Gemini energy. Okay, so we have... Pluto in Gemini in the 12th house. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So there is some deep transformation happening in regards to who it is that you are, you know, who, how you express yourself. Um, you are really going there, going deep, right? And being getting very connected to your soul's expression. And by some means, this is um, influencing how you show up in your relationships. Like in a sense, it's like you're getting to the space of being very confident within yourself, within your relationships. You are being very unwavering within that. You are no longer compromising in a sense um, because it's like you're realizing that you can no longer go against yourself by any means, okay? Through this, there may be some things coming up that may be being shown to you, okay? In regards to the people who it is that you were connected with um, or people that you just were not aware of because Pisces and Pluto is a lot, Pluto is a lot about deception and, um secrets and hidden agendas and 12th house can uh, speak about hidden enemies you know people who you thought supported you but they didn't this may be within um partnerships like work relationships more than anything right people who you collaborate with okay um so that may be dissolving right how you relate to people um how you show up maybe you are learning some new knowledge in regards to how it is that you may have even been uh, sacrificing, sabotaging your own self, right? And this can be some karmic based energy that you've been experiencing, dealing with up until this point. This may be something that has been drawn out for a really long time or something that just exists within your family line, right? Out of having like this unconditional stance in regards to how you operate, right? Or this can even be speaking about how the ways in which it is that you have been hiding from your own self, right? What ways of you need to come undone? You know, this, this, this energy can be fairly, it's kind of heavy 
in a sense with this Pluto here, but the the, Jupe, the Gemini in the 12th house, it makes it very mutable, all right? So easily change, easily going from one expression to another, right? And through this, some dynamic within yourself is going to open up and allow you to free yourself. It's like a rebirthing that's happening in a sense, okay? Um, so with you having Gemini in the 12th house, that means that you are having what Taurus in the in the 11th house. So this can be, again, some transformation. We have the North Node and Uranus in Taurus right now. And so this may be some transformation within your, your, your goals, your connections, your community work, right? Who you establish this with and how you go about doing that. This could even be you shifting your market. <laughs> You may be focused on one particular market. You may just be focused on even doing things by yourself. Very hermit mode energy going on here, even with, because what's facing me is the sun in Aries in the seventh house. And with that, that can really be speaking about um, you just doing work on your own, right? Or you're partnering with only one person and that's it kind of thing. It's like, um who easily comes to you, you're accepting, and those who don't, who it's an issue with, you're kind of just letting it go. Not necessarily an issue, but who it's just not working with anymore, who your soul path is not aligned to anymore, like whatever type of, sometimes people come into our life uh, to offer these type of karmic relationships so that we can work through the shit within us to free ourselves from how it is that we're holding ourselves back, how all the ways in which it is that we are imprisoning ourselves to not truly be ourselves. okay? So this is you connecting within relationships who are, are accepting you for you, all right? It's like no and ifs or buts about it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what Tarot got to say. What else is being expanded upon here? Spirit ancestors of Gemini. Spirit angels. What other messages do you have for Gemini for the first and second half of spring? What else would you like for them to know at this time? This is bothering me. My second house, Virgo, is like, uh-uh. And there's a full moon in Virgo today while I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> Let's get back to it. What other messages do you have? Oh, wow. Here for Gemini. So this is three cards. I'm going to pull one more. First and second half of spring. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely all about you doing you doing you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, Gemini. Okay. As Aries and Taurus has come up, everything is moving very quickly for us in this spring season, especially this first half. Right, so you have the free man. You are freeing yourself <laughs> from any burdens, any strongholds, any type of illusions, any type of um, oppression, all right? Any type of suppression, you are letting this go. Taurus got this energy too. So Gemini, maybe you wanna go back. If you have a lot of Taurus energy, you wanna go back and watch that, okay? This, that message may resonate with you or even if you do not have Taurus energy, maybe the person or the people who these things are happening with, right? Because there are other people involved here um, that they may be of a Taurian nature. Anywho, so you are freeing yourself. You're tapping into truly into your sovereignty, okay? Um, and really letting go of anything that is keeping you stuck, keeping you stagnant, all right? Keeping you like a foot on your neck kind of thing. And you're like, no, I'm done with this. Like this guy, he walking from the cemetery, like, let me go get this dirt, all right? I need to protect myself and I need to change my reality. This ancestor here is gonna help me. 
move through this and I am partnering with them to get this shit done because it's time for a change, right? Because it's going to take some cleverness. The seven of knives, it can also speak about, um, this is about strategy, right? This is about doing what it is that needs to be done so things can go your way, okay? This can also be speaking about um, getting away from any type of manipulation, right? Um, deception, deceitfulness. This is a seven of nines is a card of like gossip and false friends and um, what is not true, right? But it's also about understanding and having a, a strong knowing of what it is that needs to take place um, and being able to utilize the mind, the power of the mind to manifest what it is that you want right? Having the understanding, having the right thought process that's going to support you in being able to free yourself, right? Free man is the fool card, right? So you are on a new journey. You're doing things in a new way and you are doing them in your own way, your own way. Nobody's really going with you down this road, okay? Nobody, not in this first half anyway, and probably not even in the second half. That doesn't mean you don't have people around you that support you, that love you. But when it comes to work matters, um, communication matters, connection, relation matters, that is changing. Okay. And in the second half, the first part we have is the ace of sticks. So you're doing things in a new way. It's like the hand of God is here helping you and supporting you and letting you know, hey, it's time. All right. Let's go and make this happen. Let's be excited about this. Let's do this. Let's make this happen quickly. All right. I need you to be paying attention to what I'm saying. I'm paying attention to what I'm showing you, what I'm offering you so that we can move forward. Okay. Um, and do this on, on, on our own. Yeah, there's definitely a change happening here in a very deep way. This person's hand, you have vitiligo, right? So this is about genetics. This is about your DNA even, you know, and you finding ways to nourish that and nurture that to free yourself from, um, any strongholds that have been uh, oppressive, you know, and you'll know what that is because it's going to be, it's going to be a very drastic change within the way you communicate, but also the way others communicate with you, right? But this is also you shifting your behavior, your movement in a way that is going to serve you in moving forward, right? This is like a message of success, a message of achievement um, so that you can go ahead and get off the fence of whatever it is that is time for you to do, right? It's like you're at this last push in a sense. Um, maybe you have been in this space of like two minds, right? Gemini energy, very Gemini based of two minds of how it is that you need to go about doing anything because Maybe you've been afraid to really see the truth of what it is, you know, and it's really important that you accept that and embrace what things are for what they are. It's time for you to go about living your life in your own way, um, right? Because that in itself is your protection. You protect yourself by doing you, right? Because when you can do that, then you repel the energy that is not in alignment with you, that 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 don't even come forward for you out of the fact that it don't resonate. It, it, it can't fit. You don't have no holes in your aura for that to fit in it. What else is your spirit? What other messages do you have for Gemini for the first and second half of spring? What would you like for them to know at this time? okay <laughs> so this card came up in reverse so with that this card is the undying 
and it speaks about a strain of plenty will flow into good fortune. All right, so something is something is coming forward for you. Yeah. Oh wow, and at the bottom is the water nymph. So, all right. With the water nymph and the undying coming out, this is this is definitely about the seven of knives energy is definitely about like some untrustworthy energy, right? It's like what a person is saying to you. If it's like, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, right? If it sound crazy and wild, it probably is. <laughs> Let me, let, let's see what the undying is, is telling you. It's important that you keep that insight though, but this is about a chance. A tale about money that is marvelous and unbelievable is about to be told to you. If what arrives or what you hear appears to be good to be true, it probably is. Do not meddle in the affairs of others or you'll find yourself in troubled waters from which it is difficult to escape. The undying, a beautiful water nymph with long flowing hair like a river argues that you should follow the lines of least resistance to flow out of a difficult situation. By continually doing all that is required of you by the demands of time, you flow to your goal. You will be bathing in all kinds of possibilities and opportunities if you follow your heart in an enterprising venture. Yeah, so it's important that you really take this free man journey. Right. And listen to what it is that you are. What, believe what it is that you see. Feel whatever. You got to get yourself out of this space of not wanting to see and accept whatever you know to be true. <laughs> Even if you ain't got no proof. Because the proof is going to come. It's coming. All right. Um, but you have to trust that you know. You truly do have to trust that. Second half of spring, fair. Second half of spring for Gemini. Okay. So you got the great sea monster for the second half of spring. It says to accomplish your dream, plan, and believe. Yes. So um, that's, again, like I was saying, like you're at this space where uh, you are almost to the finish line, right? You just have this. These other few obstacles, hurdles, lessons, uh, understandings, awakenings to occur so that you can really move forward in the way in which it is that you want to. Like this, the old the trash got to be gone, got to be um, thrown out, right? Because what this, this energy has manifested in your life because of baggage it is that you're still been holding on to, right? So it's important to let that go long book so this is the great sea monster it speaks about triumph you are finding great success all right it says you can con conquer a potentially bad situation and prevent it from worsening by taking action the great sea monster symbolic of cosmic forces one step away from chaos indicates that danger can be averted it represents the freeing of conscious of consciousness from the grip of the dark unconscious powers that might grow into monstrous activity by an unbalanced psyche. You will achieve a heroic victory by the light of your consciousness triumphing over darkness of your subconscious. Anyone with improper intentions against you and all that is good and right will be slain. There is more than one way to solve a dilemma. Search in the right, right way will appear. Yeah, so it's important for you to just this fire energy is like being your truth, be you, right? You need to follow where it is that the wheel is turning you to because in that lies your destination and it's also revelation, right? Saying, showing you what is real, what is true because at the bottom here, we got happiness, right? And at the bottom of the tarot, we have John Horse. That is you being yourself. That is you honoring yourself, loving up on yourself. Okay, receiving that guidance of you, of your ancestors, of your guides, being tapped into your channel. Oh, man. Okay. Yes. Wow. Give me a moment. These cards are falling, falling everywhere. Okay, so the first half we have seventh house. So this is definitely about some relationships, okay? Um, that energy is very strong here, but justice is being received. Um, it's 
seventh house is also it's Libra energy. Libra with the seven of knives is very strong frenemies energy, right? You got this Pluto and it's 12th house and it's like, dang, I really don't be liking to talk about that type of stuff, but that is very blatant here. It's here. This chant, this undying card, you know, and it's just like, what in the world? Okay, so, you know, being aware of your partnerships, your relationships, all of these things are helping you connect more to the relationship, a benevolent, prosperous, abundant relationship to yourself, a healthy relationship to yourself, in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, in your walk, okay? Second half of spring. What is here? It's here. We have the 11th house. So yes, you are meeting your goals. You're connecting with the right people. Your friends, your friendships, they are prosperous. You are triumphing in um, connecting with what resonates with you, what is true with you. But like truly, because fire energy is all about the self. It's all about the self. Okay, so everything it is that you're connecting with in the second half of spring is of you, all right? It's not anything that you have to second guess, that you got to reconsider, that you got to question, all right? Because everything that you need to be aware of is, is coming to the forefront. Fire reveals all. <laughs> you can't hide shit around fire because it is the brightest light, right? So, and then 11th house is air energy. It's going to be very blatant in your face, All right? So this is of, of clear mind. And it's very important that you have, um, that you combine these energies within yourself so that everything can be illuminated and also so that you can flow through this in a, a seemingly effortless way, right? In a way that is burdened, that does not burden you. Right, because at the bottom here we have internal change, lunar eclipse. Okay, what else is here? What other messages do we have here for Gemini for spring? First and second half of spring, Gemini, first and second half of spring, Gemini, first and second half of spring. Okay. Yeah, so um you have the four of lotuses here, and this is food. It speaks about food in tour art. Uh, is the Ta Ert? <laughs> Sorry, it's a, the goddess. She rules. The, she's the goddess of food. So it's really important that you making sure that you are nourishing yourself, nourishing your family, even with uh, everything. Right? What y'all taking in? What y'all speaking? What's going in your mouth? What it? What what type of smells are around you? What you watching? What you hearing? Right? What what you putting in your body in all crevices? All right. Um, and, and how that is supporting you and how that is uplifting you. And if it is not uplifting you, you know, it's time to strategize and make a new way, uh, <clears throat> see things in a new light, have a allow that to bring a new understanding to you. Even also make sure it's like a, it's like a importance for you to see that where it is that you were truly being nourished within your relationships and not allowing whatever this hidden stuff that's going on um, jade you in seeing what is true, what is there for you, what is comforting for you, what is truly supporting you, okay? What else is here? What second half is starting for Gemini Spirit? And we have Virgo. So you may be receiving messages from a Virgo. This could even just be in regards to your service to the community, to the world, the hermit, Mercury, 
right? So the messages, what, what your understanding, this awakening that's happening is going to come through you. Um, these revelations are happening through you going into a hermited space, All right? Really staying to yourself, really seeing what is true. Um, this is earth energy, right? So uh, it's about harvesting as well. So the harvest comes when you are still, right? But through the stillness, you still want to make movement. So this may be you taking a break from connecting in regards to community work, community service-based work, and focusing more on um, just what it is that you are doing, what it is that you have going on. And it's also a lot about you needing to, you need to learn to trust the messages it is that you're receiving. Yeah. It's some protection it is that is needing to be had surrounding you, okay? Um, and needing to get very grounded within yourself, within who it is that you are, right? You have to honor it in order to uh, really cultivate that peace that you need, right? Because peace is not just a desire, it's a need in order for us to live in a way in which we want, okay? So what else is here Gemini Gemini what other messages do you have for spring first half yeah the door is opening for you so this is the this is like you're finding success as well within your relationships um, it's, or more so what's being revealed to you, what the door that's being opened to you is clarity. You're seeing very surely of seeing very sure of the type of work it is that you need to do, how it is that you need to go about doing it. And this is like, I'm standing on my own kind of thing. This is the four of, um, what is this? The four of stays or wands, however you want to call it. Okay. And um, it's almost as if you can nourish yourself better when you are on your own timing at all times, you know, because this is a lot about timing as well with this air energy. So it is good for you to be willing to walk through new doors, <laughs> okay? Because that's where your success is going to lie, even if those new doors are by yourself, okay? That, that may be the key to these things, to what's going on, um, all right? Because again, it's a form of protection. So the second half of, of spring, you are harvesting. This is the Ten of Pentacles, right? So what it is that, that you want, is coming through by way of acknowledging what it is that has been a disappointment to you, integrating that lesson, moving forward with the wisdom of it, okay? Letting your life transform in a way in which it is that it's gonna serve you best um, and clearing out the clutter. And that's probably why you're gonna end up having to go into that hermit phase um, in the second half of spring, because you and you're going to need connection that resonates with you only, right? That that truly honors who it is that you are. Because you know, Gemini, you a dynamic force for real to be reckoned with, and people can either um, muster you or they can't. Because if anybody's going to get it done, Gemini's going to get it done. They're going to figure out how to get it done. And then they're going to take the steps to do it. Granted, they y'all might change your mind, right? You may wake up one morning and be like, fuck this. <laughs> but nevertheless, you will see a thing through until you can't anymore, right? So whatever it is that has not worked out, it didn't work out because you were learning whatever it is that you needed to learn about yourself so that you could be successful in the way in which that your ancestors have paved the way for you to do so, right? That they are supporting you in, in doing within your own construct, your own sense of faith, right? You have a lot of support here with where you're going, what you're doing, 
seen and unseen, but there is some energy here that has to go, whether that is simply within you or outside of you. Okay. Yeah, but all is well. We have the flames on the hearth at the bottom. All right. Which means um, that card neutralizes any bad forces. You know, at the end of the day, you are protected. You'll, but it's still important that you have the ability to recognize, see, and um, know what is what. What is what? Heart for spirit, what other messages do you have for Gemini? God damn it. All right. You got Queen Sheba here. And she says secrets revealed. All right. So, you know, I said what I said, Gemini. <laughs> Spirit said what they said. And at the bottom, you got worthiness. Okay. So, you're probably fairly already aware of what's going on here. Um, but I was talking to a friend yesterday and I was just like, you know, the shock value has been at an all time high. And I can only see that <laughs> that ending of Pisces season just going out with a bang. All right. Like, yo, because that's when um, spring comes through, when Pisces exits. You know, and that 29th degree is definitely going to be something. All right. I'm not going to say it's going to be intense, but it's definitely going to reveal something that was not aware. Secrets are being revealed. Let's see what Queen Sheba got to say for you, Gemini. So she is from Ethiopia. She is in the temple of queens and her element is fire. More purification happening. These secrets that's being revealed is so you that you can release some things, clear some things out. It says in the Bible, the wealthy queen of Sheba brings a caravan of gifts to King Solomon. The Ethiopian holy book reveals that she was their queen, Makeda, and that together they sired queen, King Menelik I. <laughs> Queen Sheba's guidance says, open your eyes. Secrets are being revealed. It's safe for you to see the truth. Your inner vision is crystal clear. The embodiment says, you don't know what you don't know. Your creator, ancestors, angels, spirits, and ascended masters are whispering to you. This is divine intelligence. Pay close attention. There are things you do not let yourself see. Allow yourself to be guided. Choose your own path. The goddess declaration says, I am connected to the divine. So your steps are ordered in a sense. Um, what you want to do is because it is so, right? It is divine. Pay attention to what is being shown to you, all right? It, and it's okay to it's okay to feel some kind of way, you know, honor your feelings so that you can process them and move through them and not carry them, right? Because this is about letting the burdens go. It's burdensome to continue to hold on to, However, we perceive our relationships to have treated us, right? When in reality, they were here for us, giving us a helping hand to understand even more so ourselves, you know, than we have before so that we can grow, we can evolve and elevate and really be who it is that we want to be, that we came here to be, you know? Yeah, Gemini, I hope that this message blesses you. I hope this supports you, all right? If uh, it does, be sure that you like the video. If you have not subscribed yet, I appreciate that. <laughs> Share this with your loved ones. And yes, I will see you over on the airy season reading, Gemini. You have a wonderful, wonderful spring. And yes, let me know how this resonates if it does so. Bye.